as you know, that 2018, that was our last uh, World Kumsa Taekwondo Championships in Taoyuan, Chinese Taipei. At that time, also very successful, I guess uh, I would say so. And this time, it's more success. Even though it's a COVID-19 pandemic period, I didn't expect so many countries are participating for these championships. At the moment, you know, 63 countries and uh, nearly athletes and all officials, we have uh, just slightly over a thousand people are gathering. And the level of Taekwondo Kumse is really leveled up in many countries. I think, you know, World Taekwondo organized the virtual Taekwondo Pumsa Championships just right after COVID-19 pandemic. That really helps yes. to promote uh, Pumsa in many different corners of the world. Then Pumsa is not just uh, the Taekwondo Pumsa for Dojang. We organize world championships and many multi-sports games like the Pan Am Games, Asian Games, all African Games. They are now taking Kumsa as an official sport. Of course, Universal season, the military sports event. This is really encouraging development of Kumsa in Tojang all around the world. And uh, just a few days ago, the Maldives joined the 212 member nations, which is wonderful decision made by the council. So after Vatican City, Maldives, so there are only four countries left. Two countries in Africa, Eritrea and Namibia. They are sooner or later, they will join with us. And also one country from Europe, the Liechtenstein, we are also pushing hard to bring them to our federation. And another missing country is North Korea. So we are also encourage them and discussing about the future, the joining for the, our membership. Then we will cover all the countries in the world. As you know that the UN member nations is 193, IOC is 206, but we are already over IOC standard, but uh, I really want to bring four countries into our federation. So I think Taekwondo is now become a global sport. Yeah. Especially the result of the last Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games is already yes. proved that uh, even New York Times reports are saying that uh, Taekwondo is most generous sports to sports practitioners. Ones who are trained hard, they can have a dream come true. And World Taekwondo is different than other international sports federation. Like you know that the World Taekwondo already, the found uh, Taekwondo Humanitarian Foundation. We are supporting refugee children, yeah. refugee yeah. athletes. Yeah. So that's why World Taekwondo is always saying, how many member nations? We ask, our answer is, 212 plus one. We are supporting refugee athletes. Several weeks ago, in Jordan, there are three major camps. Actually, one in Azraq, and one in Jatari, and one in the refugee area. It's not a camp, but the three different groups in Jordan to practice Taekwondo. So we invite them to Amman City to have a first ever Hope and Dreams Taekwondo Championships. Participating 
children about 450. They're all happy. That's the first time they came, they can, can, came out from the refugee camp to join the competition. This is the Taekwondo. Taekwondo is always supporting those kind of needed children. And also we have a Taekwondo Cares program to support, like Guatemala is doing a wonderful job, you know, to support uh, poor athletes and uh, some athletes from our orphans, you know. Friends. So World Taekwondo is supporting also those, those kind of programs we are doing also in Asia, Nepal, and Cambodia, Sri Lanka, we support also this kind of program. I think we'll yeah. do more, a lot more to support. And the one, the take on the girl in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. she really doing a wonderful job. So this kind of things is Taekwondo is different than any other international sports federation. Right. So we are the initiator to support uh, refugee children right. and uh, because of pandemic situation, until now they are not doing much because they cannot do much because of the pandemic situation. But as you know that uh, in mid-November we'll have a World Taekwondo Championships in Cancun, Mexico. I think uh, that's the moment to organize new form of the Pan Am region, Pan Am Union. So I think that would be a good timing to promote Taekwondo once again in Pan Am area. The Mexico is the one of the, after USA, I think Mexico has uh, more populations of Taekwondo. They said uh, 2.5 million Taekwondo population in Mexico. So after I think uh, World Taekwondo Championships in Cancun, Mexico, it will again be really booming up in Taekwondo. As you see, the just a few minutes ago, the Mexican pair team, they won the gold medal. This is a new history for them. This is really wonderful for developing Taekwondo. In small countries in Africa, small countries in Europe, even they are really enhancing Taekwondo as their tool for developing the young children. That's why many countries taking Taekwondo as a, their, uh, how do you say that, uh, compulsory subject. They put the Taekwondo into yeah. elementary school, compulsory subject to. So Taekwondo is teach young children, give young children confidence, courage, respect, and honor. They teach those kinds of things, not only just how to kick and punch. So behind that, there is a philosophy. So many parents love that, you know, the philosophy. That's also some sports, they are talking, well, peace through sports. But we are not just talking, we are doing action, action plan. So we always saying that the peace is more precious than yes. triumph in this yes. magazine many times. Yes. And also one world, one taekwondo yes. is our motto. Yes. So as you know that the next year, World Taekwondo will celebrate 50th yes. anniversary of foundation. So together with the World Taekwondo Championships, next year. Mm -hmm. Normally, our foundation date is uh, May 28th. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, we don't know yet which city will host the uh, next year World Taekwondo Championships, but I'm going to ask them to organize World Championships during those periods. Right. So we'll have a big celebration. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. So that's my also aim. Next year, May, until May, we still have time. So I mentioned four countries are missing for our memberships. 
So I'll do my best yeah. to bring those four countries to yeah. gathering together. So as a person, individual, they know what to do, what should do, should do. But uh, the action is always behind. But Taekwondo, is, we know how to do it, make our sports more respectable. So I'm always saying that our steps and also council members of course, we'll be the, the best international sports federation. But I like to make our federation to respect it by the other people. So that's our motto. And next year, I mentioned already, the, it's very important year for World Taekwondo. Celebrating 50th anniversary yeah. is, of course, you know, compared with other international sports federation in Olympics, mm -hmm. we are maybe we are the youngest, but we are very strong and unified and support each other and respect each other. So I like to not respect ours among ourselves. I like to respect it by other people. World Taekwondo is different than other international sports federations. And uh, coincidentally, 2024, mm -hmm. we all know that we'll have uh, Olympic Games and Paralympic Games in Paris. And that's the 30th anniversary of the decision of IOC session that uh, bring Taekwondo into official program. That was, it happened in 1994, September 4th in Paris IOC session. So coincidentally, we'll have a big celebration again in Paris. And as you know that uh, our first debut of our Paratekonda in Paralympic Games was very successful. That's why IPC recognized our Paratekonda. So in Paralympic Games in Paris, uh, instead of three, three weight categories, it expanded to five to five, so ten medal events, <coughs> which is a yeah. wonderful result. So continuously, we'll do our best to make our sports more respectable by the other people and to make more fair and transparent sports. An important one is gender equality. Which federation is the first federation to organize half male and half female referees in Olympic Games? World Taekwondo, since 2016. And successful result in Tokyo. And our plan is also not only Olympic Games, World Championships, Grand Prix, why not? Let's do that. So that gender equality is very important. And uh, this last, the council election, mm -hmm. and now it's reached about 30% of our council members are female. <coughs> That's also great progress. So I'm happy about uh, having this progress and development of our sports. Especially this Pumsa Championship is really marvelous. Yeah. You know? Many countries are very happy yeah. you know, to receiving medals. But the medal is important, of course, for their country. Yeah. But what is important is the harmony gathering yeah. of yeah. this yeah. Pumsa Championship. I don't know how many countries will join the World Taekwondo Championships yeah. in Cancun. The the last time, what, 173, 150 something, I don't know. But, but anyway, yeah. that will also increase. Yeah. But, uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that was really good. No, no, really thank good. you for inviting me and uh, all the best to Mas Taekwondo and also all the best to the Pan Am region Taekwondo. Thank you very much.